Hey everyone, today I'll be covering Chinese Embassy 2, the ninth level in Tom Clancy's Splinter Cell, and let's jump right into it. First things first, um, you're going to make your way into the kitchen through the back here and immediately turn off the light to avoid detection. This will spare you a lot of health. Once you make your way here, what I like to do here is I shoot this light bulb and only then take the ladder because as you can see on the other side, there is a guard who has the sort of headset with a light on it, which allows him to see you from much farther away than he would normally be able to. And so by shooting off the light like I did, you allow yourself to have enough time to actually draw your weapon and take care of that guard. Otherwise, he would notice you immediately and you, you know that's pretty much guaranteed death. Um, so you just want to deal with the guard like so and make your way into this building and then once you're in this balcony um, instead of taking this pipe here and you know doing the casual route of taking this zipline you can actually just jump on this balcony uh, frame or railing or whatever and jump towards the zipline like that but I recommend you quick save before you do this because if you're at a wrong position um, or a wrong angle or even if you like forget to jump or jump too late you will fall down and that's instant death so make sure you angle and position yourself correctly jump on it and then make a jump immediately from here and you're good to go once you take the zip line you want to take a turn here around the corner and drop and then you want to make your way onto this pipeline here or just pipe pipeline um, and then last but not least you're going to go through this trap door which will take you to part two all right now that we're in part two you're going to go to the janitor's room and then take this route which is I think the same as in casual gameplay and then you're take this pipe down like that going to get against the wall here. Now as soon as you go off of the wall here, you're going to shoot one of the lights and you're going to shoot uh, the glass wall panel that is to the right of those doors here. And uh, then you're going to move through this sort of office without being noticed because the lights are off. And if you do this while crouch spamming, this ensures that you won't get detected. And you're going to move into that little um, other office which has your objective in it. I'm going to slow this down in post, but it looks like this. This was a little late, but uh, basically it looks like this. As you as you can see, I crouch spammed a little, just in case. And then you're gonna make your way here. Now on the second floor, there are two guards. Um, for this, I recommend you equip your ring airfo airfoil rounds, which you can then use on the guards. And I first of all hit the one that's further away, then I hit the one that's closer to me, and then I shoot at the glass wall panel, which will allow me to move through there. And it looks like this. Here we go. From here, you're going to enter the keypad code here, 1436. Open the doors. Take these stairs. Now, with this turret, I recommend you wait until it goes as much to the right as possible. And then you want to go against the wall to prevent as much unnecessary damage as possible. So, for example, here I wait until it's as much to the right as, as I can. And then, right here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to equip my gas grenade. And I'm going to shoot out the, the, the lamp that's closest to the retinal scanner. And then I'll explain two ways how you can do this. So basically, 
uh, there is going to be a colonel and a guard that'll come through those wooden doors. And there are two ways you can do this. If you're just starting out, I would recommend you wait until the door is open and only then shoot the gas grenade. Um, and you shoot it at this very specific location right here. The colonel will shoot at you like that for a little bit. And you're gonna move out of the way. Uh, shoot two, uh, two ring airfoils at that guard, and uh, as this colonel is running towards this corner, you're going to grab him and then use him for the retinal scanner. Alternatively, if you get more, um, well, I don't want to say advanced, but uh, if you get better at this, you can anticipate the door opening, and if you shoot the gas, uh, if you shoot the gas grenade as just as the doors are going to open. The colonel is going to run towards you immediately, and this saves a, a, bit, a, bit, a bit of time, like 5 or something like that, seconds. Um, and it looks like this. There we go. As you can see, he just immediately ran towards me and he didn't shoot nothing for a couple of seconds, and if you can do that, that's amazing, because that saves a bunch of time, and then you, after, after you make this kernel use his uh, retinal, ret, retinas on, on the scanner, you can just go through the doors here, open this window, and jump straight into part 3. Now in part 3, you're going to take your sticky shockers and run through this route. Um, you want to deal with this guard if possible. He can be a bit of a pain in the ass. Um, you're going to take these doors, take these doors, and also deal with this guard. You're going to open the doors here, and then you're going to go to the storage room. Now, as soon as you're in here, make sure that you get into this position right here before the colonel turns around. Then you're going to wait a little. And then you're going to crouch spam and get close to the kernel. You don't need to enter this keypad code, you can just knock down the kernel like that. Nothing bad will happen. But then once you're here, you're going to uh, crouch spam and take care of this guard. Take care of that guard. And now there are two ways you can deal with this. Uh, there are two routes, essentially. The first one, which I like to do, is uh, by a wall jumping like that onto this little pallet sticking out and then on top of this box on the shelves and just go in here. Alternatively, you can go right here, but uh, this may cause an alarm like that, so be careful about that. But uh, once you're here, I'm just going to do my favorite thing again. The reason why I want to consider option two is because this one sometimes is a little bit unreliable as you may not be able to do it for some reason. It happened to me once and I actually lost a run to it, so be careful. Keep both routes in mind. Um, but once you're here, you can either just run through like that, or you can do something that is called truck skip by rubbing against this railing here until Sam stops like that. Equip your weapon, aim here, shoot two sticky shockers and move into the cutscene. And the trucks that you're supposed to explode will explode during the cutscene, which will actually glitch out the game. Um, and then you're going to continue moving. If you don't do the truck skip, you can just get on this railing here and then, you know, equip your weapon and shoot it from here. And then you can use the little time you have to get down as close to this. Uh, trap door as possible, and then you want to open it. Then I like to equip my weapon and move into this hole like that. This will prevent Sam for, from grabbing the ladder and will get you down much quicker. Once you're in here, you're going to deal with that guard. If you have a spare sticky shocker, you can use it here. And then you want to run and don't stop until you hit like this little um, area. You're going to do four dialogue skips to skip Goa's dialogue. And now it's just about basically 
tailing Goa into Feirong's office. Um, now, important thing here, if you have more than 50 HP, you do not need to take that medical kit. I will explain why a bit later. But if you find yourself with less than half of your health, please consider taking that medical kit for a uh, strat that we'll do at the very end. It's not mandatory, but if you want to stay fast and everything like that, you want to definitely consider that medical kit. But anyway, once you're uh, through those doors, you're gonna wait until Goa enters the keypad code. I like to wait until these doors close so I don't get spotted by Goa like that. And then you're going to enter the keypad code 1456. Just like that. And you're going to have to wait until Goa gets out of the elevator and um, then you want to call this elevator to come back down to you and then you're going to take it yourself. Here it comes. Press, you tell it to go up, you press the up button, and then you go up. There's a chance you can clip out by walking into this um, wall. Luckily, I didn't. Um, then you're gonna run through this hallway and enter the keypad code 1834, then start crouch spamming here. Enter the code 7921 here, and then crouch spam until you hear the colonel die. Once he's dead, you can roll into the cutscene like that. Then as soon as the dialogue is over, you approach Firong like that, grab him and make him use the computer. And now here is why I said that you might want to consider a medical kit. Um, we're going to run through these fires here. And uh, there is a strat you can do right, oh God, right here. Um, if you run just like that, you can, you know, you can disregard the explosion that's happening right here. However, if you don't have more than 50 HP, uh, or 50% of your health, you want to slowly approach it and then let it go through and only then move. But obviously that's a little bit slower, so if you can, definitely just go through and don't care about it. You're going to open this window, drop down, and then you can do a, a very fast uh, approach here. You can just go on these little rocks here and then go into the mission complete trigger. Or you can just, you know, take the regular route, but uh, yeah, once you do that, you're going to hit the mission complete trigger. And that's Chinese Embassy 2. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something, and I hope you learned how to speedrun Chinese Embassy 2. If you have any further questions, please let me know in the comments, or you can join our Splinter Cell speedrunning Discord, where we're more than happy to answer any and all of your questions. Until then, thank you for watching, and have fun speedrunning.